Hi everyone, Adam here for Crackberry.com. Today we are checking out the BlackBerry Music Gateway. This is an updated version of the older model. It was the BlackBerry Remote Stereo Gateway, whatever the official title was, but um, it's been totally revamped. It's different design. It's got NFC. It's light, and it just it just works. That's all there is to it. So we'll go ahead and check it out in action first, and then I'll uh, we'll dive into a little what makes it tick. But I've got it hooked up to my Bold 9930 here. So if we go ahead and jump into the music app fire up some tunes and you can see they're coming out of my external speaker there which you can tell when I do the volume here it's going to show Blackberry music and it's got the little Bluetooth guy there and I have my speaker back here if we unplug it I get through music stops and goes back in so it's not uh, not actually coming uh, out of my device speakers here so that's it now you can throw your device in your pocket you can uh, you know cruise around the house up to give or take 30 feet away depending where you have it set up um, you can stream your audio from the built-in music player, BlackBerry Music, Spotify, Pandora, Slacker, um, you know, movies, games, anything like that. So any of the audio that's going to get pumped out of your device here, it's going to go through the gateway and then out to whatever external speaker you have. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll, uh, we'll unplug it here. So it's just this little guy. It's, you know, it's a little box. It weighs 0.8 ounces. Um, you know, it's super thin. And it's just got your micro USB port on the back here, a three and a half millimeter jack. And then the top with the BlackBerry logo is actually the function button. So this is, if you don't have an NFC device and you want to pair it up, you can do that. So you just hold it down and it'll put it in pairing mode. But um, the big thing on it is that it does have NFC. So for um, a lot of the newer BlackBerry 7 devices with NFC, all you have to do is tap it. Let's just show you in a second here and it'll pair it up. Um, and then you're rock solid. And you can actually pair up to six devices with it. Um, you can only have one in use at a time, but you can pair six devices. So if you have, you know, six in your household or you and your spouse or siblings or whatever, um, you can be all be paired and then you just have to, you know, switch off if you're DJing or whatever it may be. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it on my device here so we can just take a look at uh, the pairing and everything. So when you pull it out of the box and plug it in, it's gonna actually jump right into pairing mode. So if you have an NFC device, you know, Bold 9930, 9900, 9790, whatever, you throw it on, I get a vibrate. Um, of course, you have to make sure NFC is on. And then we see the connecting dialog up top there. Um, and it's gonna automatically turn Bluetooth on, on your device if it's not already, which you can see it did from the, uh, the LED up top there. And then if you give it a second, it's gonna go ahead and connect. So you can see it's all fired up there. And that's all there is to it. And then if we go back and jump into the music player and pop a song on here. Dun, 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 dun. This one starts out kind of slow, but we'll jump in the middle here. So you can see it's fired up there just like that. Um, so that's all there is to it really. I mean, you just tap it. And if you have any other NFC devices, any Android devices that have NFC or anything like that, 99% um, of the time it should work the same way. You just tap it with the NFC and it'll connect it. It'll work with any Bluetooth enabled device. So if you have, you know, older Blackberries or Blackberries that don't have NFC or your iPhone or some Android devices, you can hook it up. You just have to use the old school manual pairing method, um, you know, and you would hold down the top here to get in pairing mode. And I think it shows like a red and blue alternating light and you can connect it that way. And like I said, you can have up to six devices. So depending on what you got going on, you know, you can hook up a lot of devices, but you can use it for, you know, just playing music for date night or DJing. You can have, uh, if you're streaming videos, you can have the music playing from that video games, um, whatever it may be. It's great by it's 49 99. So the price has been knocked down from the original quite a bit. Um, and that's really all there's to it. So it's just this little guy. It's definitely a great investment. You can hook it up to any external speaker. Um, you know, if you ha I have a sound bar on my TV, so I can do that when I'm in the living room, and then I have, you know, an old dock um, from my iPod that has a jack on it. I can plug it into that when I'm outside. Um, so the possibilities are endless. You can actually, you know, split it if you have a splitter for your cable, put it on two speakers and all kinds of stuff. You can only have one device, device playing through at a time, obviously. So even if you have those six devices paired to it, you can only have one active, but, you know, you can switch off back and forth. So whoever, you know, say you have, if you're a family like the Zeiss household and you have a ton of uh, 9900s or NFC enabled devices, you know, you can just keep tapping back and forth to switch them off and um, get the job done. But definitely worth checking out. It's the BlackBerry Music Gateway. It is available for $49.99 at shopcrackberry.com and it definitely gets the Adam seal of approval.